All right guys, today I'm gonna to teach you how to train like the pros and become that NBA player that you've always dreamed about. It's gonna be a few simple steps, some fundamentals, and some more advanced techniques to help you get there and become that great player. The first and probably most basic step is to always carry your shoes in. You never wanna wear them in. Second most basic step is to always greet your bros with this kind of handshake. Anything other than that, and you're a chump. They're not gonna pass you the ball and you're not gonna get your time to shine. So now, it's time to warm up. It's kind of complicated, but this will guarantee you that you have a good game. It's gonna test your reflexes. You're just gonna catch things and stay on one foot, never fall. Just keep catching them and grabbing them and you should be fine. And this will help you completely warm up. Let's begin now that we're warmed up. To get good at ball handling, first, you start keeping the ball low. One hand, go left, speed up, speed up, and then you just keep going, and you keep going, and your, your dribble just gets so good. One of the most important parts of basketball is fouls. And I'm gonna teach you how to draw fouls based on two of the best NBA players out there, James Harden and Giannis Antetokounmpo. All right, so this is what Giannis does. You're driving down, fast break, or if you got an open lane, and you're gonna do the Euro step to start. So you're gonna go one, two, and then I'm trapped, this happens a lot, and then you just jump into him and shoot it. And you'll get a foul called every time, just jump straight into him, bull rush. <laughs> foul! Give me that! If I'm dribbling and someone's trying to steal the ball and they reach their arm out, I'm gonna act like I got poked in the eye, like someone's trying to carve my eye out with a dull knife. Oh, is it red, like oh, LeBron? Red. Oh. This is gonna teach you how to create space. It's called the step back. So let's say I'm going in, the guy's guarding me. I take a step back, and I'm open. But if he comes out, it's okay to take another step back. I've seen it done. Now this next one. I actually haven't seen it done in the NBA, but I'm sure James Harden will bring it out within the next year or so. Let's go. All right, next step is your pivot foot. So look, this is your pivot foot right here. But a lot of the time, the refs don't even know which pivot foot is your pivot foot. So you can change it whatever time you want and they won't even know. Got my pivot foot going, one foot open, you do a little shuffle this time, and knock down. It's legal, but very, very disifying. Next step, passing. And one of the most important passes that you can do is a behind the back pass. Fast break situation, right here. Defender, guy right there, and then you, you got a guy here, behind the back. See what he's doing, see what he's doing. Passing, actually not that important. Maybe if you're going to play in college, but if your end goal is the NBA, then it's not that important. Just look at guys like James Harden, Kobe Bryant. Next is the fast break layup. I'm gonna go for kind of a floater. It works every time to get over a big man. No play is more electrifying in the game of basketball than the slam dunk. So I'm about to show you that now. One of the most used moves in the NBA. So where you get all your lift from is your legs. This is where all your explosiveness comes from. That's why we're doing this leg workout. I found that even more important than playing defense is getting in your opponent's head. It's all about the trash talk. You wanna make these insults as personal as possible. Look up their names on Google. Find out their family names, their history, and use that against them. Yeah, your sister Sarah? She only has two friends on Facebook. How you get a ton of your points is at this line right here, the free throw line. And what's most important to making your free throw is not practice. It's your free throw routine.
All right, guys, thanks for watching. And remember, if you follow these techniques, you too can make it to the NBA like I would have if I went to sprain my ankle in the eighth grade. I've just never been the same. But thanks for watching. Yeah, man. Yeah.